how you can quickly translate your PowerPoint slides. This is a really great feature for your students with limited English. You can translate it for them, but you can also show them how to do it themselves so that they can take and use the same function as well. Now, it is not available on the online version, so you will have to, once you get your PowerPoint up and going, you will want to click that open in the desktop version, and we'll choose that open Microsoft PowerPoint. Once it loads, which it sometimes takes a moment, but once it loads, you're going to go to what you want to translate. Now, you do have to do it slide by slide, um, but it is pretty quick. So for this one in particular, I had a student example where they were doing a project on the uh, parts of science they learned last year and they did made an ABC book about it. What we're going to do, once I click on the text box that I want to translate, we're going to come up here to review and we're going to click this translate button. Once you do that, you can pick your language. I picked English already in Spanish. You can look at it. You can even check, you know, okay, does that match up? Um, and then all you have to do is say insert and it translates. You go on to the next one, you click on your next text box, it goes there, you say insert. It's much quicker than having to copy and paste it into a translate function, and you just keep going. Now, be careful because remember, this is linked to your online one. If you're translating this, it is translating the original. So if you want to make a Spanish copy or a different language copy, make sure you make a copy of the initial PowerPoint rename it, say Spanish copy, and then start translating it. Once I'm done here, uh, it auto saves. So all I have to do is exit out. Okay, and see how it's saying it's saving them. Okay, and then once I've exited, I'm gonna say resume editing here. And then my changes will show up as if I had done them online because it is linked to my account. So if we look here at slide two, it is now changed. So as I said, make sure you save a copy beforehand. So save as a copy beforehand before you start changing your language. Hope that helped.